Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements using a pretty high level tool. You may not have ever used Camera Raw or edited Camera Raw footage. And in fact, you can go your whole life without ever knowing what Camera Raw is. But Adobe has put a lot of time and effort into Camera Raw. You'll see it in its professional programs. You'll even see regular updates to Photoshop elements with regards to Camera Raw. That's how important it is. Now, most of the time when you take a picture with your camera or your phone, it's just a snapshot. The camera inside the phone will automatically process the footage for you, get you nice lighting, get you nice balance, and then output your finished picture as a JPEG. A JPEG is a compressed file, so it's already compressed, already done, and 99% of the time, that's everything you need in a picture. But if you want to do some high-level work, if you want a little more control with your work, you'll want to work in Camera Raw. Now, a nice feature in Photoshop Elements is not only can you open Camera Raw, but you can even open pictures that aren't really camera raw in camera raw. And what's the advantage of that? Well, let's open up a camera raw picture here. I have one that's authentic raw. This picture is as is right out of the camera. Whatever adjustments I made to the camera in terms of lighting are pretty much all that's going on here as well as focus. But the picture has not been processed. I can't print this out as is because it's in its raw state. Now you'll often hear raw referred to as a digital negative or a DNG file. And it can also be an RAW file. Either way, it's the same thing, which is sort of a work in progress. It's not really a printout file, it's a work file. And I can make adjustments to this. I can make adjustments to temperature and tint and exposure and lighting. And you can see there's some pretty high level things. If I go down here to detail, some high level things for sharpening and calibration that I can use. The beauty of Camera Raw is that the work remains a work in progress until you output it. So in other words, I've done some kind of crazy work here to this picture. I'm going to click done and shut it. But watch what happens when I reopen my Camera Raw picture. Reopen that same file. It's right as I left it. I didn't do any permanent changes to the picture. I didn't damage the picture. The picture remains something that's still malleable. It's still something you can work with. It's like clay that never hardens. You can continually reshape it and resharpen it. So the camera has done nothing to modify or prepare this picture for me. I'm doing all of the work here in the camera raw work area. I could even crop this picture and close it and reopen it and I'd still be able to uncrop it. So nothing gets lost in camera raw. It still remains a work in progress. All right, so suppose I like this and now I wanna print it out, what do I do? Well, if I select open down here at the bottom right of the workspace in Camera Raw, the picture opens in a regular workspace. In other words, now I'm just in the expert editing workspace in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. And if I select save as, my file that I'm saving will no longer be Camera Raw. I, it's just raw, that's just what I named it. But you can see that from the file extension, that it's actually going to be saved here as a Photoshop file, or I could even save it as a JPEG. In which case, once I save it uh, in something other than a raw format, I'll be able to print it. Meanwhile, even if I save it here as a JPEG, my original raw file remains here in my library. So let's go down here to raw. We should see two pictures. There's the JPEG I created. And you see right next to it is my original raw file. CR2 just means it's camera raw 2. And I open it up and it's right as I left it, a work in progress, still malleable, still something I can continually make adjustments to. So if you want more control, just like there are people who just take snapshots and never enter a dark room, but back in the old days, people uh, did a lot of work in the dark room. They not only processed the film, but uh, they did things to the pictures within the dark room. It's the difference between taking your picture to the drugstore and having it developed and actually doing dark room work yourself. So camera raw, a little more high level, but also with a lot of great options too.
You want to know more about these kind of hidden tools and not so obvious tools? Check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. You want to know everything? about Photoshop Elements, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve. I wrote the book and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.